Have you ever wondered what happens when a beauty influencer's life takes a dark turn? Let's talk about Sabrina, a charming beauty influencer from the heart of Chile. She captivated the TikTok world with her beauty tutorials and dance videos, amassing a dedicated following within a year. But one day, her vibrant posts ceased unexpectedly, leaving her followers puzzled and concerned. Yet after three long months of silence, Sabrina resurfaced, but not in the way her followers anticipated. Her dance routines and beauty tips were replaced with grim prison walls. That's right, Sabrina was posting from prison, shocking her followers and raising a myriad of questions. How did she end up there? What could she possibly have done? And why did she stop posting to begin with? The answers to these questions reveal a life far removed from the glitz and glamour of beauty tutorials. So, how did a beauty influencer end up in prison? The plot thickens as we delve deeper into Sabrina's life. Meet Sabrina, the beauty influencer, now known as the Narco Queen. Behind the glam and glitter of her social media persona, Sabrina was simultaneously leading a small drug trafficking gang. This wasn't just some family-run business. They had connections deep into the underworld with the notorious cartels. As the Narco Queen, Sabrina ruled her realm with an iron fist. She and her gang were involved in territorial wars, the kind that echoed with the sound of gunfire, with rival gangs in their area. The neighborhood, once peaceful, was now a battlefield, a place where the innocent were caught in the crossfire. The residents, living in constant fear, despised these violent exchanges. However, the fear of Sabrina, the narco queen and her gang loomed larger than their desperation for peace. Reporting to the police was out of the question, Sabrina made sure of that. Despite their fear, the residents found a way to fight back. They began sending anonymous reports about the gang's activities. These reports flooded into a website set up by Chilean police. The sheer volume of reports couldn't be ignored and caught the attention of the PDI Counter Narcotics Division. Armed with enough evidence from the anonymous tips and their own investigations, the PDI sprung into action. In a dramatic raid, they swooped down on all properties linked to Sabrina and her gang. Sabrina's reign as the narco queen comes to an abrupt end with a dramatic arrest and a prison sentence. While Sabrina's life seems to have hit rock bottom, an unexpected twist occurs. In the midst of the gloomy prison walls, her TikTok account springs back to life. Don't ask me how Chilean prisons work, but somehow, Sabrina manages to share snippets of her life behind bars. It's here that she meets Antonella, a fellow inmate, and coincidentally, another drug trafficking gang leader. A bond forms between them, fueled by shared experiences and a common past. Through a series of photos, we see their relationship bloom into something more. After less than a year, Sabrina is released early from prison, returning to her beauty influencer roots on TikTok. But the prison bars can't contain her feelings for Antonella. Her posts reveal a longing for her cellmate turned lover, painting a picture of a heart that remains captive. Despite her release, Sabrina's heart remains in prison with Antonella, but her story doesn't end here. Just when Sabrina's life appears to regain some normalcy, tragedy strikes. One day, en route to the nail salon, her car is rushed by masked men. Caught off guard, she scrambles out, attempting to escape, but is brutally attacked. The assailants retreat, only to return and ensure she won't rise again. All this in broad daylight, captured on camera. Thus ends the tale of Sabrina, the beauty influencer turned narco queen, a story that unfolded in the most unexpected ways.